Hello and welcome back everyone to a new episode of EU4 here with me, Sneaky Bard. We're playing as Ceylon, going for the, um, uh, I was about to say a different name there, but no, going for the Buddhist Strike Back achievement. We are almost finished uh, integrating our vassal Melwar. We have spread Theravada religion into a large part of India, there's still the north left here, and we are noticing with interest how Bengal, who we have not a truce with, who is only allied with Afghanistan and Sindh, is in big trouble here uh, against Af uh, not Afghanistan, but against Chagatai. Never noticed that they were allied allied with um, Afghanistan, but what I think I'll do, and what I just did there, is cancel our diplomat to, yes, get that royal marriage back, uh, to Nagaur, and see if we can't do something backstabby here. Nagaur obviously hates our complete aggressive expansion uh, here. But they're still our allies and committed to to the cause, which I'm happy about. We should also, I think, get early modern administration just because it means we can get more states, especially all these states that would come from integrating the war. So there's that. So let's see. If we declare war, yes, Afghanistan would not join. Sindh, however, who is a one province minor, would. So I'm thinking, let's let's declare the war and get some more stuff off of Bengal. Probably something like this, so that nobody starts uh, attacking them, at least from the direction of Delhi. Get Sindh, and then see where that takes us. You are also quite far ahead uh, and behind, I mean, in military tech compared to us. So we would, we would just love to um, attack you. Delhi might, of course, if we call them in, decide that they want to have a have a try here at um, getting some land off of uh, Bengal, especially the stuff that. We gave Bengal when they attacked us, these Delian cores. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking whether we should call in Delhi or not, but I, I'm just going to say yes, let's call them in and see what happens. I mean, uh, what could possibly go wrong? Um, Gauda, not Gauda as they say here, the uh, other uh, province in the Netherlands where all that cheese comes from is already occupied by Chagatai so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that we should put Patna here as a which does have a fort though but as a war goal so we can get that juicy uh, ticking war skull anyway here we go let's declare war on on poor old Bengal here our leader can our king can be a leader and recruit another general. Ah, you have Siege Pip, so congratulations, you have won the honor of uh, leading this army here. Oh, suddenly you honored your alliance? Well, even better that we called in Delhi. I could have sworn that there was a red uh, cross there, but that might have been... The tooltip does wonky stuff there when you are the... Uh, tributary overlord of someone and you're going to war against the ally of your tributary uh, do we want more karma let's see yes we would love some more karma even though that would mean we lose some money but we are still making money so we don't necessarily need need to worry about that just too much we're sending in two armies into Sindh so we can make short work of them just full siege Sindh hopefully Delhi isn't well they're marching in this direction but I was hoping that Afghanistan who is eating up Chagatai in their defensive war against Chagatai would uh, go and deal with the Afghani armies but apparently that is not the case all right let's start um, 
uh, not integrating, sorry, converting stuff here. We do have some some guys here that apparently are a bit unhappy with how things are turning out. So let's let's up your autonomy because why not? Did I somehow forget to do that? I have no clue. Well, let's let's make sure that that is still uh, up there. We have Sunni zealots. We can't have Sunnis running around in Mewar. What is this? Let's hope that Delhi goes and takes care of them. Nope. So we should we should probably try and take care of them there after we deal with you. We are not assigned, so let's go here and it's like this. That way, oh great, we managed to fully siege Sindh. So what I'm probably going to do is something like this. Saying, okay Sindh, you're out of the war, basically. We're going to give all of that stuff to... Well, once you're ready to give it to... To Mewar, you're going to give it to Mewar. What would happen if we integrate Mewar before we can get all of your stuff though? Sindh? No. Minus five reasons to do that. Alright. And of course, as always, I've forgotten to put my timer on, but that is fixed now. We are in the pros. Wait, what? Oh, I was thinking <laughs> this said that this was occupied by Delhi. Apparently not. Alright, now you're at medium war enthusiasm. Still not wanting to do that, but that will uh, go. Or well, you will get more reasons to want to peace out with us so don't worry wait I want to select you so that you just go there and then you can go to jump there we go kill the zealots nice let's start uh, also include subjects here converting all of this Hopefully it makes these Gondwanese separatists less likely to rise up. You, I'd want somewhere like here. So that, oh, Bengal has occupied Delhi. How is this possible? Delhi, what are you doing with your troops? Shouldn't they like protect your own heartland a bit better? All right, we've gotten you. Then move towards a tier hood here. What do we want? Lose prestige, money, take out a loan, unrest. Ah, let's lose the prestige. Who needs prestige? Alright, here we go. Sind is at low. So, ta-da, let's get some money out of you. And have you revoke a call on our vassal. Perfect. Nice. Our vassal should be happier now. It sets back our annexation of them a bit, though. By like two percent, I think, but that is just the price you have to pay. Let's go into the hills here. Chagatai is well, not necessarily losing ground, but I thought they had these provinces occupied. How's your war going here? Very badly. Bengal should peace out though, because you're at like four, minus 42 percent against Chagatai. Uh, you can go to here. You can just go somewhere like this. Okay, we've got the Jampur. Nice. You go there so you can cover the flank of that army. Delhi, go and like get your capital and siege, please. That would be extremely helpful. Oh dear. Apparently, our war exhaustion has caused these guys to tick up a tad bit more. So, we should probably pull back one army to East Berar. East Berar is over here. Just to make sure we can deal with any rebellions that might pop up. Due to just general discontent and war exhaustion. You're not part of Bengal there. Here we go. Nice. You can go over here. Same with 
you, you can go over here. And then Bengal should be full sieged. Wow. Our Delian allies have gotten all the way down here. Very industrious of them. And you can go here. That should slow down the general unrest, I believe, of the Gondwanese guys. And maybe we can even, like, manage to... Oh, Great Britain has announced us as a rival. Maybe we can even manage to make sure that no rebellion is happening. We have reasons to uh, peace out Afghanistan due to our vassal stellar work, but uh, Afghanistan is not yet willing to peace out quite. Alright, no more Gondwanese rebels, that is good to know. Let's see. Are we getting another siege here? Alright. We have lost the siege of Kandala, apparently. So, yeah, now they're even less likely to... to accept any form of peace offer we might send them. Oh, and you have peasants here rebelling against you. Oh, lovely. You go back there. Don't path through the peasants. I don't mind them having rebellions. I don't mind them, you know, taking back land that we had occupied. Peasant, move out of the way or we shall, you know, force you to move. Alright, there was some form of peace treaty here between Bengal and Chagatai. Chagatai has Kanad peasants. They haven't pieced out Afghanistan though. So, what happened here? Bengal... Yeah, you have to basically just annul all your treaties. That's what happened. Alright, Afghanistan... Well, did, did you just... Okay, let's pay the human sacrifice. Afghanistan apparently just obliterated my vassal's army. Wow. Afghanistan? I would love to come to some form of agreement here. Alright, we are once again fully uh, religiously unified. Let's move you here. Alright, these peasants are getting a bit too uppity for me. So let's go beat them up. You are our kings, so I don't want you to lead that siege, but you can come here. There we go. Alright, now you have noble rebels. How lovely. Alright, did we get your capital? Yes, we did. So you can go like this. We can go here. Nice. And you can go all the way down here. Oh, there's a fort here that we could we need to take. Okay, we need to... Yes, I don't care about Mamluk's opinion. Uh, let's get... Yeah, let's get manpower. What can we... Oh, we can do Miltech. Yes. And that would give us a new unit. The... Well, I'm going for the Dekani... Um, musket Infantry. Because somehow the North Indian Musket uh, Infantry just doesn't seem as uh, suitable for us. We are a Southern Indian nation after all. You can go somewhere here. You can go here. Afghanistan, how about peace? Peace in our time and all that. I don't even want you as a tributary or anything. Alright. I just have Delhi know that we want it to take all these four provinces here. Who beat you back? Nice, we got manpower from our vassal. Oh, that's where the Bengali army is. Did that beat you back? You, yeah, you're going there. That's good. Alright. You can go here. Tibetan peasants. Tibet, we are still allies, aren't we? Yes, indeed. I can put you all the way to 100. How about... No, I don't want the trade 
Delhi, how about you? Yes, we're still allies. Though that is quite likely to break if... Why is our spy network not increasing it? Did we get caught at some point and that's why it's not increasing? Or that's why it got reduced to zero and now it's only gotten all the way up there. Uh, tributary trading port will be removed from Tata. Okay, so what's happening here? Abuse of tributary status. It's come to our attention that the Malik of Sisan has been harboring a great number of criminals, pirates and thieves, giving them a safe port close to our interests. This is greatly harming our interest in the region and has made us lose face to other tributaries. What other tributaries? We only have the one. As well as your own court. Alright. So, we could lose a bit of prestige and have the tributary trading port removed. Or lose more prestige and some legitimacy. Our legitimacy is crap, so I don't want to lose more of it. Have that. Oh! Sistan is willing to hunt pirates, so now they love us a bit more. Nice. Respect overdue. Ah, the pen is backed by the sword. Our envoys travel a tad bit quicker. Alright. Our integration of the war was set back slightly. Oh, and Delhi has particular list, particularists. There we go. Difficult word to pronounce. And apparently they are quite unable to deal with um, Bengal and uh, Afghanistan encroaching upon them. Afghanistan is getting pushed back out of Chagatai though. Alright, so what can we do? Make the merchants lose uh, some influence and some loyalty with us and yeah, gain money and all that good stuff. Are we? Oh, we apparently need to upgrade our cannons too. Now they hate us though, but we can grant them monopolies and then they will be fine. We can also, well, talking about not losing legitimacy, <laughs> I'm clearly doing it now. So let's do that. Alright, good, we got some admin power here. Do we want devoutness? No, even though it does give that also good goods produced modifier, which is awesome since if we look at our trade goods, that's trade, where do we have trade goods? Here we go, we have tons and tons of gems, which are worth a lot of money. Yeah, making a whole three ducats. And Golconda, as a province, has even the Diamonds of Golconda, so local goods produced plus four, which is, which is absolutely amazing. Try and get that last four there in, in Bengal. Let's see what that does to our war school, if you manage to occupy it, that is. Should we go and help? Help Delhi? I'm not so sure. Just move our obsolete troops to the border here. I mean, if they they come and besiege everything like that, then that's going to be a problem, of course. Ah, what's happening with that jungle siege there? All right. Oh, we have Mong Yang separatists. Lovely. Come on. Give me back. That old juicy province. Ceylonese conquest of Patna. Delhi accepted white peace. Ah. Come on, Delhi. You can do better than that. Oh, we have no diplomats. A shame. Let's get you from Delhi back and see what would Bengal be willing to give us. We definitely want to go to that province though. Right, we've got Sandawai. Here we go. Okay, there are some... What are these? Delian separatists here. Right? We w wouldn't mind Bengal breaking to them, though. Look here. Oh, we could get that. That would be nice. Even though that would strain our relationships with Delhi a bit. Chagatai and Kashmir might enter a coalition. We want the whole coast here. Okay, then we get Mamluks, Transoxania, Afghanistan, and all that sort of stuff. Hmm. Go something like this. Still these guys. 
I mean, we'd get a nice slice of the coast here. But is that what we want? I mean... Hmm... Ganges Delta, obviously, is nice. Something like, well, do we do we need these things yet? That is the question. Go somewhere like this. Let's see. Who would join the coalition then? It looks like there's one more in there. Ceylon will lose. Ah, Nagaur as an ally. Indeed. Well, we'd lose Nagaur anyway. So, I'd actually be quite willing to do... Well, I'm going to leave this here. Trying to see if something revolts. Maybe Mong Yang. And... And... Let's see, if Mong Yang were to revolt away... And that could be nice. Do something like this. And like this. Bengal Delhi. Delhi would join the coalition? Delhi would join the coalition? I mean, we wouldn't lose them as allies, apparently. We would only lose Nagaur. But that is a bit too greedy, I think. Let's see. Now Delhi wouldn't join it. And now Delhi wouldn't join it either. I'm not sure I want this province, even though it's quite, you know, cheap. But there's no... well, apart from... no. Okay, we could do something like this and connect our lands, that would be fine, I think. And Delhi wouldn't join the coalition here either. Could say, okay, renounce a call there, but I don't think that has ever been an issue. Yeah, let's let's do something like this. We even have all the admin points we need for that. So here we go. Nice. All right. What's our overextension looking like? It is precisely at 99. Didn't even look at overextension there. Yeah, that's that's a good point. Thank you, game, for not punishing me overly for that error. And here we go. Mewari Liberty Desire is up. We could repay your debt, though, and then you'd be fine again. And just up all the autonomy here. Apparently we have a bunch of people who want to rise up again though. Not good. What do we need to do? We need to mothball the forts here. You apparently would... Well, okay. Oh, they both broke their alliances with us. What lovely people. You are also not uh, happy with us and you could all basically join coalitions which would mean Wazandaran how about an alliance? You would actually want an alliance so let's try and fish around for alliances. Ming? Uh, Ming less likely to join an, any alliance here. Okay, oh! Delhi and separatists apparently took over that again. Oh Mamluks entered a coalition. You're a rump state. You don't. You don't count anymore. There we go. Kill the separatists. Trans Oxania also entered coalition. Okay, Nagar is cutting all ties with us. So let's fabricate some claims here while we can. Alright, we could also start converting stuff. Mong Yang! 
Wow. You want an alliance with me? Nope, not going to happen. Sorry, pal. I'm much more interested in someone like Mazandaran, who is at war with Russia. Oh, defender against Russia? Who are you allied with? Sistan, Ajam, Bukhara? Oh, it's because Bukhara then. I see, I see. Oh, Kashmir entered that coalition. Not too good. I agree. We can just wait it out. I doubt the coalition will... Oh, our diplomat died. We'll do anything too, too drastic. Let's get another diplomat. Let's also build some more workshops and the like. Here we go. Can we build a taxation thingy? Yes, we could. I'm going to wait a tiny bit so we can build it in Morasandu. Ming, you want military access? Why would that be? We're at war with Ayutthaya. Oh, Ming war for Ayutthayan tribute. Oh, we could become a Ming tributary. Interesting. Then that coalition would never fire. Not that we as a we are a great power, aren't we? Yeah, we are an 8th great power. Would want to become a tributary. How's the whole tech thing here going? Uh, could gain manufacturers in about 14 years. Or try to go for it. In Kuttak. So we c should save for some money there. At least, like... Ask the burgers nicely if they want to give us some money. And yeah, that was also a timer, but I'm going to wait a bit for this whole situation to stabilize slightly so that we could say get Mazandaran as our ally. Here we go, nice. I'm going to ask for that royal marriage. No. That wasn't you, that was... You wanted access. I don't want to give you access. The only one I want to give access to is Mazandaran. There we go. And no, we don't want to get any Miltech here. Who is rising up? Gondwanese guys, among others. Yeah, what's hap- Like, all these royal marriages are really tanking my legitimacy probably should try and, you know, uh, do something about that, like, strengthen government, whatever. But you should die quite quickly, so... No, I'm not going to give Senvi military access, sorry. Alright, let's, let's get some guys in position to meet that threat of, um... Uh, rebellion by the Gondwana guys. Alright, we've gained some cores. Awesome. Let's start converting them. And when is our May in three years? Alright. Probably wait a bit longer here. No Mong Yang, I don't want anything to do with you. Ottomans? How about that alliance? No. Absolutely not. And you? Not really. Oh, you have a Swedish dynasty? Wow. On your throne, you have a Swedish king. Interesting. Any other alliances that we might want to do? Oh, Ayutthaya, if you weren't like, you know, Okay, you're attacking Arakan, you're defending against Malacca, and you're defending against Ming. Yeah, you're pretty dead. Uh, Malacca. Malacca might be willing to ally us. Ethiopia, what about you? You, you could be willing to ally us. So let's send a delegation to you. Just so we get some warm bodies between us and the coalition here. Alright, we have some more spy network here in the um, Bengal Kingdom. So let's utilize it. 
Oh, now you're allied with Kashmir and Nagaur. Interesting. Do you... Does Nagaur have any cause that we'd want to release? You have Jampur. But Jampur isn't a good call to release. The Sind. But neither is Sind a good call to release. I mean, wait, partner? What are you? Oh, Tirhut. Tirhut could work. Yeah, I don't want to release Jampur because of that. Oud could work. Hmm. Garwal. Independence guaranteed by Bengal. So yeah, we could attack Garwal and then just, you know, vassalize them and feed them a bunch of stuff from Bengal. We'd have to eat Nagaur on our own. Nagaur who is worth, what, 137 war school. Afghanistan? Alright. Defend against Trans-Oxianian Reconquest of Kukand. Oh, a general died. Lovely. Another general died. Oh dear, they're all biting the dust. Alright, we have Bengalese separatists. And yeah, Ethiopia, let's put you as friendly. Alright. So, let's go and kill these guys as quickly as possible. Sadly, they rose up on that stupid, uh, oh, Mewar, Sindhi separatists. On that stupid fault there that we obviously, what game more karma and prestige, had marked as unimportant. You, let's take the air here. Air, go and fight that. You go and fight this. Because they are all over the forts here. Which I'm not a big fan of. Which means we have to siege them back and everything and it's going to take forever. There we go. And of course, separatism was uh, gotten there. Alright, we got some, some provinces that we managed to convert, apparently. How's our conversion here going? Still May 14. That's good. Okay, we've got Bengal Delta. Nice. Okay. Ceylonese um, particularists, particularists, quite a few of them. Hindu zealots. Alright. This is getting ridiculous. You know what? Just going to pump in a bunch of... Uh, power here, military power that is, to get some more um, legitimacy going here. And then you probably, yeah, none of you will really stop rebelling, but it will take you a bit, bit longer to actually rise up. Alright, we've got you back and then you can build a united front here against the uh, particularists oh nice and we also managed to finally uh, integrate my war the country is looking like this now probably should send a spy next into Nagao or something and just to unite like these pieces of Ceylon but our country has grown it is quite big here we only have Bengal some of the rump here left Nagaur, Delhi and this bit here and then we're done with the Indian conquests and here we can see the nice religious spread as well what does this mean? Oh, state religion, religion, okay, yeah, makes sense. So Theravada has managed to build a nice land bridge, actually, between uh, India and the Khmer lands here. Awesome, awesome. Poor old Korea, not that they were ever going to go for the whole 
chosen one achievement but <laughs> if they had been their job would have been much much harder now all right so as always this is it for the episode we ran a bit longer just so i could finally integrate our vassal but in the next one we will probably go and establish garwal as our new vassal or maybe even nepal nepal still exists yeah and then just feed them a bunch of bengal before integrating them as well and going for Nagaur and lastly do something with Delhi, well something conquering them and finalizing our Indian conquest. So as always thank you for watching, I do hope you've enjoyed the episode and if you have do remember to give me a like and a subscribe and I will see you in the next episode. If there's anything you think I could improve on do remember to put that also in the comments. Until next time, bye bye.